Hi, welcome to our CoLab tutorial of convolutional neural networks. I'm Zi Rei Li. This tutorial contains three parts. First, we will introduce convolutional neural networks. And next, we will show the code to build and train a convolutional neural networks. And at last, we will compare multiple models with or without a trainable convolutional filter. In this tutorial, we use touchquantum.quantum device, touchquantum.general encoder, touchquantum.random layer, touchquantum.measure or touchquantum.polyz class from touchquantum framework. You can learn how to build, train, and evaluate a convolutional filter using touchquantum in this tutorial. First, let's have a look at the introduction to convolutional neural networks. We will first introduce convolutional neural network. Convolutional neural network is a classical neural network genre, most, uh, mostly applied to analyze visual images. They are known for their convolutional layers that perform convolution. Typically, the convolution operation in the Frobenius inner product of the convolution filter with the input image followed by an activation function. The convolution filter slides along the input image and generates a feature map. We can use the feature map for classification. Then we look at the quantum convolution. One can extend the same idea also to the content of quantum variation, variational circuits. We replace the classical convolution filters with the variational quantum circuits and we get the convolutional neural networks with convolutional filters. The convolutional filters perform more complex operations in a higher dimension Hilbert space than Frobenius inner product. Therefore, convolutional filters have more potential than traditional convolution filters. Then, we show the code to build and train our convolutional neural networks. First of all, Let's import Torch Quantum. You can check the details by unfolding the installation code cells, but I will skip that in this video. Now the installation is over. Next, we show the steps to import the lib we used. Our code requires Torch Quantum lib, Amnest dataset and PyTorch. We need torch and log softmax function from torch.nn.functional. We need optimizers, torch quantum module, amnest dataset, cosine annealing learning rate scheduler. Then we build a convolutional filter. Our convolutional model is a hybrid model. It consists of two parts, the convolutional filter part and the classical layer part. To build the model, firstly we define our convolutional filter. Our convolutional filter structure is the same as the figure described above. It has four qubits. The TQ.quantum device module stores the state vector. Usually, a quantum neural network model consists of three parts, encoder, answers, and measurement. We can create an encoder by passing a list of gates to TQ.general encoder. Each entry in the list contains input index function name, and where's. Here, each qubit has a rotation Y gate, four R Y gates in total. They can encode the 2x2 input data to the quantum state. Here, we decide our answers to be a random layer. To create an answer, we call the tq.random layer to create an answer composed by eight basic gates with no more than eight trainable parameters. And finally, we perform polyz measurements 
on each qubit. The measure function will return four expectation value from four qubits. The four results go to four channels. Next, look at how convolutional filter works. We get the batch size. Our input image is 20xx28. So we reship our input data to batch size 28, 28. We initialize the data list. The list stores the output in each thread. The double loop is to iterate all the possible positions that the convolutional filter window may stride in. Here the stride is 2. Then we catenate four lists to one big list. So we need to reshape the list to 4, comma, batch size and transpose it to batch size, comma, 4. If you want to use Qiskit remote noise model or real quantum machine, you can set use kits use equals true and pass these five parameters. Q device, encoder, Q layer, measure, and data. The Qiskit processor will receive these parameters, put the data in the encoder, run the whole circuits, and return the measurement results. Remember, only when the model is doing an inference can you use Qiskit Remote. If you are training or not using Qiskit Remote, you can run the three parts one by one on Google's Colab GPU. After each thread, we append the measurement result to data list. Finally, we catenate the data list among dimension 1 and return the result. Then we look at the whole model. The whole model consists of a convolutional filter and a fully connected layer, torch.nn.linear. The size of input is 4 times 14 times 14 because a 28x28 image after convolutional filter turns into a 4-channel 14x14 feature. As the task is amnist 10 digits classification, the size of output is 10. At last, the model performs f.logsoftmax to the result for classification. Here, we also have the model without convolutional filter used for comparison. Its fully connected layer input size is simply 20xx28. Then we load the data site. We use MNIST classification data site. 10 digits and 500 training samples. The road is the folder that stores the data site. If there is no MNIST data site in road, it will automatically download the MNIST. The dataset now contains three splits, train, valid, and test. For each split, we we'll create, we'll create a data loader with a random sampler. Batch size is 10, num workers is 8, and pay memory is true. Then we set use CUDA. It depends on whether CUDA is available. We create a device object. Initialize the model. Unpack an epoch is 15. Create atom optimizer. And cosine a kneeling learning rate scheduler. Then we train the model.
When training the model, we iterate the data loader. We get the input and the target's data. We feed input to the model and get outputs. Calculate the negative log likelihood. We reset all the gradients of parameters in the model to zero. We call loss.backward to perform backpropagation. Call optimizer.step to update all the parameters. After each epoch, we will validate the model. In validation, we can use Cascade Remote because we don't need to do backpropagation. Now the training is over. Next, let's train the model without convolution filters. After training, we can plot the accuracy and the loss curve. Here, we can also see the image before convolutional filter and after convolutional filters. At last, we can run our convolutional filter on IBM Q's real quantum machine. The process, the process is really slow, so I will not show it here. If you have higher priority access to IBM Q Kiskit, you can check the code cells in the installation and, and replace our token with your advanced token. That will make the process faster. Then we consider the case that convolutional filters are trainable. In this section, we consider the case that convolutional filters are trainable, and we compare various models with nearly the same number of tra trainable parameters. The four models compared here are described by the following figure. The model 1 contains a trainable convolutional filter and a fully connected layer. The number of parameters is 188. The model 2 contains a trainable convolutional filter and a quantum fully connected layer. The number of parameters is 192. We use U3, U3, C, U3 layer 0 to fulfill, to implement the QFC layer. When building the answers part of the QFC, we need to pass a dict describing the architecture. Here the dict is n wires, n blocks, and n layers per block. The dict means the answers contains n wires qubits. There are four blocks, and in each block are two layers. Passing the arc to U3, C, U3, layer 0, we will get a trainable answer with four blocks, and each block contains four U3 gates followed by four C U3 gates. The model 3 is simply a QFC model. The model 4 is two fully connected layers, which is a pure classical model. Here, we do the MNIST for classification. One thing to notice, in, the, in this task, we downsample the image from 20x20, 20 x28 20, x to 4x4. Then we train the four models.
after the training is over, we can plot the accuracy of these four models. Okay, here comes the end of the video. If you have any questions, welcome to contact us. Thank you for watching.